this one. Well. Welcome, it's your black therapist, Jenny Dela Cruz, and this is a place where we bring awareness to mental health. We talk about trauma, anxiety, depression, and more. Do know that the real you is what? Better than a fake someone else. And so this is a place for you to be your authentic self. I mean, there are billions of people on this planet. Why are we all trying to be the same? It doesn't make sense. Now, go ahead and grab your notebook because we're going to talk about how we are like plants. Yes, I'm out here in nature, taking it in, breathing the fresh air, listening to the birds, the animals. This is a nice hiking trail around my way. And so make time to be out in nature because we need it. We're just like the plants, y'all. And so I hope you are ready. Let's get into it. Number one, how are we like plants? Well, we need sunlight. I mean, we literally do need sunlight. This is why during the winter months, we struggle with seasonal depression. And if you're like me and you work indoors, you got the fluorescent lights, right? And you're just in and out, work home, work home, hustle and bustle. I mean, this capitalistic society, I hate to say it, the majority of us, that's what we do from sun up to sundown. We're working and we rarely have time to enjoy nature um, if we do on the weekends. And sometimes, unfortunately, many of us don't because we have extra jobs. And so make it your business, maybe during your lunch break, even if it's 15 minutes, take a brisk walk in nature. Let that vitamin D hit your skin. Um, that prevents diseases, right? It also helps our mood, believe it or not. And it helps us to sleep better because it resets our circadian rhythm. Yes. So for those of you who struggle with insomnia, you definitely need that light to hit you. All right. And so how else are we like plants? Well, number two, we need water. Yes. Literally, as you can see here, I got my bottle. I do try to at least drink half a gallon. Sometimes I do have... Um, my intake through my green juice. I've been juicing for 10 years. I love it. Also, it's important to have fruits and vegetables. You can also get your liquid from there too. Um, why is this important? Because believe it or not, we can confuse hunger for thirst and I don't got time for them games. Summers is coming, you know? Yes, not only that, it helps to clear your skin it helps with digestion and ultimately it boosts up your energy and immune system. I don't know about you, but I love having that energy. I need it, especially as a busy mom of two boys. And so drink up is good for your kidneys as well to flush out the toxins that we take in from our food, sometimes from pollution. And so all around, it's just great for you also great for your hair and who doesn't want like shiny locks right healthy locks so how else are we like plants well number three what else do we need we need nutrients right nutrients from the soil and believe it or not not all soil are created equal I learned this from going to a local plant shop around my way um, so I had my plants were not thriving and so I met with Oscar from there. Shout out to Oscar. Um, and he indicated that my soil actually was the problem. He was like, no, it's not that you're not watering them enough. But he mentioned that because of the soil that I had, it was not able to absor absorb the water the nutrients and so soil when you think about it that is your surrounding right this tree right here is surrounded by this type of rich soil and so if my environment is arid then am I going to be able to take in the nutrients no and so if you're in a toxic environment, okay, ukone, you know if I'm speaking to you, all right, for all my those out there, sakpase. If you're in an environment where people around you are toxic, okay, no one is perfect, but 80% of the time, you know, 
you can't have fun with them. They're constantly complaining. Um, they're just, you know, criticizing you. Woe is me. Life is horrible. Mm. You have to ask yourself, is this a place where I can grow? You might have all the tools available. You might say, yeah, I have a good job. I have these goals in mind and I have what I need to be successful. But how can you absorb all that when you're around toxic environments? So you have to be aware of your soil. Is this the best place for you? And for those students out there, uh, I know as a student coming up, I could not study in my dorm room. I don't know how some of you guys did it, but either I was in a library or a coffee shop. I live in a coffee shop. Okay, they had to kick me out. It's time to go. It's time. All right. <laughs> so you have to know what works for you. Don't try to be like everybody else. And no plant is created equal, right? Some plants need more sunlight. Some plant needs less. Some plants need more water. You might be an introvert or extrovert just because... You know, so-and-so on social media is doing X, Y, and Z. Doesn't mean you need to do that, right? You might need to restore yourself by having a book list and enjoying, you know, your tea and your coffee, taking walks in nature, and that's how you restore yourself. For someone like me, <coughs> excuse me, who's an extrovert, <coughs> let me drink some of that water. I love salsa dancing, bachata. That is what invigorates me because I'm an extrovert so do what works for you boo and remember to pull out the weeds yes okay what are the weeds the weeds are your negative thoughts okay right how you speak to yourself and we all struggle with that sometimes I'm not good enough we have imposter syndrome sometimes it's words that other people have said to us maybe coming up and we repeat it Sometimes the weeds are toxic people. I'm not saying to cut people off, but sometimes you got to put people at an arm's length. If you find that you don't feel good around them, okay? I'm not saying that you don't love them because you can love someone so much, but when you're around them, you feel crappy. I don't know what to tell you. You might have to place a boundary and say, listen, you're the type of person I only hit up for your birthdays, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and that's it. Right? Some people we have to do that with. It's just the reality of the game. And so, last but not least, plants need space. If you ever had a garden, and I actually had, um, I planted some squash, some lettuce, and, you know, when I did some research, they indicated that if you plant your crops too close, right, they will not flourish. They will not grow to their full potential. They might be smaller in size. And so sometimes we need space. This is where boundaries come up, okay? Boundaries not only for our friends, it could be for dating relationships, coworkers, um, parents, in-laws. Boundaries are key and no one likes boundaries. I mean. When you say no to a trio, what happens? <laughs> okay, some of us adults have adult temper tantrums when boundaries are placed, okay, but it's necessary. And some of you need to place boundaries on yourself, okay? Shut it down. You don't need to be up till one watching Netflix, watching a new series 24 hours when you know you gotta work the next day. Mm -mm. Okay, so set boundaries for yourself to set yourself up for success and so i hope these tools were helpful for you if you made it to the end oh my goodness thank you so much that helps me out as a content creator make sure to subscribe share this video with a friend because listen we all trying to flourish and grow here right yes and that also helps me low-key marketing last but not least place a comment on what you will take away with you and perhaps what you would like for me to talk about in the next video. As always, much love and peace.